Yeah, I'm hopping back into some Guilty Gear Strive, uh, looking at more of the story mode for an hour or so. I was intending on playing some COD, but always some stupid update. Got It's like, okay, I think we got enough of the updates for a while. Had to let go a couple of things in order to make a room. Oh, so this little like is an update. Chains to the HUD. Okay, we'll continue on with the story. Let's begin. Centered around peace efforts, the summit was rumored to include the announcement of America's demilitarization and discussions of human gear coexistence. However, with the interference of the gear maker in the questions about security, the current plan for the conference is unknown. All we do know is that the whole world will be watching. Against expert opinions, each country in attendance has opted to converse with the devil himself. Perhaps the curiosity has outweighed their common sense. Thank you for coming, everyone. Though the last minute inclusion of the Gearmaker has changed today's schedule somewhat. The purpose of our meeting today remains the same. A new peace. For a new era. And with our allied nations and the Gearmaker united around one table, I firmly believe that this day will be one for the history books. Now then, allow me to introduce you to the man who will be acting as our moderator in my stead. The Gear Maker, Mr. Oscar R. Quartz. I don't intend to waste your time by introducing myself. Please turn to your pre provided materials and. Oh, forgive me, I couldn't help but notice that there was no mention of certain recent incidents, so I went ahead and added that information personally. I attempted to maintain objectivity as best I could. I trust you'll find it agreeable. Thank you. But why did you have the time? <laughs> he lives up to his nickname. People call him the king of brown work. They do. He's awkward. Yeah. Whatever I imagined, it was all this. May we continue? could escape at any time. I assume she bears both souls off, but... Should I go get your blanket? Only thing you'll catch in here is the cold. I still wanted to save you. What, did you forget? You're the one who changed me. I didn't change anything. I merely showed you the truth. Well, that explanation sure takes a lot of responsibility off your shoulders. Then what would you say I did? You showed me too much. I realized that I am the world. And because you fear me, you're trying to make me a simple human. You knew? Yeah, learned that along with a whole lot of other shit I didn't want to know. All thanks to you. I also know that you can turn me human at the cost of your own life. Wanna give it a try? Maybe before G4 ends? I could if you'd like. But there's something I have to ask you first. This world you're after, what exactly is your wish?
It was around the 20th century, I guess. There was a man in the slums named Will, the son of some rich guy and his wife. I can't even remember his face, but I recall he had beautiful blonde hair like a woman's. He was a weird one. He'd always get into fights, but he'd cry after he hit someone. Told me that after he'd lost the strength to throw a punch, he couldn't get anything out but tears. And I couldn't say why, but everyone always ended up on his side in the end. That included me. Well, our relationship was a little closer than that. We swore our futures to one another, throwing away our old lives and names. I'd like to say, we were happy. Until one day, Will suddenly disappeared, didn't say a word to anyone, and he never came back. No cop or journalist could ever tell me why. I didn't plan on giving up on him, but I made myself a promise anyway. No matter what happened, I would never forget my memories with Will. And yet, all those memories are fuzzy. Any guesses why? Because they never happened. Not in the second version of the 20th century. I have no past. Which means I have no future. I just want to get out of this empty cage. Even at the cost of everything else? A deer runs and a lion chases. Which one would you say God supports? I can only measure things in terms of loss and gain. Then mind if I ask you something? Is your world so valuable that it's okay for you to crush mine? Nothing is mine, nor yours. The world is simply the world. So if we do find ourselves in an era of everlasting peace, Will there be any place for you in it? We need to go down so. Why? Ina let That's something so slip during your conversation. She said, before G4 ends, it's likely that she let herself be captured to the G4 to proceed. That's when they'll make their move, I'm sure of it. But that means it's even more important that we stay here. If you are listening in, you have to know why. I do. Your hypothetical is true. You have the power to stop you. Are you really alright with never being able to see Soul's face again? My goal is to awaken Arya. But at my very core, my role is to protect the world. Uh, then why did you ask me another question? As I thought. You can't say the world is in down now. This is most puzzling. The story of yours conflicts with history as we've come to know it, and the incident reports we've seen. Indeed. According to these documents, you're more of a guardian angel than a devil. I'll give you this much. Regardless of the veracity of what you've shared with us, you do have a way with words. This is incredibly detailed and easy to understand. Which raises a question. If you merely wish to share this information with us, you easily could have written this up, signed it, tossed it in the mail, and been done with it. I believe that a document alone may have been somewhat lacking in credibility. Not to be rude, but I'm sure you realize that we can't take your words at face value, either. So why risk a lifetime of imprisonment by showing up here? Oh, I must admit, it has us curious. That's certainly fair. I'm here because... I have a request for all of you. A request? That's right. Though having this conversation may bring us rushing to our aid point of order. Is that all right with everyone? How ominous. You make it sound like we should batten down the hatches. Very well. Tell us. The 
suspicious man is approaching the front entrance. He seems to be accompanied by a soldier. Do you receive word of this? Marine, you can find him. Hold it. Who is that man? Where are you taking him? Oh. Sorry to bug you, but could you tell me the location of, um, every guard in the White House? What did you say? That's a nice jacket you've got there. The Tome of Oregon. As the name would imply, everything sprang forth from its pages. This book makes anything possible. It granted magic to mankind, crafted our future, and with it, the risk of our downfall. The Tome itself, however, has no will. It provides what is asked of it. Urging caution as it complies. Of course, its power is too great for mankind to wield. Under my authority as its current owner, I intend to dispose of the tome. We obviously understand the dangers the tome poses. But is such an extreme mission necessary? Could we not conceal or protect it? Perhaps, if not for those who would desire and seek it. <gasps> the tome has such tremendous potential. It could help us build a better future. You would toss aside its value as well as its danger. Value. What value could it hold that we currently lack? For example, what value does this ten dollar bill hold? You could treat yourself to a little something. Well, to the extreme wood ranch, it's hardly what the paper is printed on. On the other hand, in the country of Valupia, this one bill could feed an entire family for three months. Value changes based on where you stand. Before we seek out an uncertain future, we must attend to things in the present. Lord, you are romantic. Is this meant to be your opponent? No. My venture. My final venture as a scientist. And so begins at long last. My world is a spirit. This is unsettling. I feel more anxious the longer things continue without incident. Even now that Jacko's gone, he no shows no signs of movement. I can't imagine our worries are baseless. I hate to admit it, but it's actually quite reassuring having you here with us. King Leo. Do you know why I decided to come back to work here? Or rather, when my friend gave his all to protect the post-war administration, you know. Merely not my subordinates do not fear judgment. In fact, we are ready to accept it. We did not choose this path to evade your punishment. If those who have sinned do not seek forgiveness, then they are just like me, walking corpses. Lesser even than the lowest criminals. I came back because they wish to remain human. Does that mean I can mercilessly boss them around? By the way, what shall we do about the treasure? Leave it be. No matter what we find, there will be something we can discuss today. I suppose you're right. All we can do is leave things to Sol in the on-site security. Hmm. What's wrong? Well... What was going on? The black box is open. What? Leave me back. Someone has stolen the data. Come here! Just put a stop to this! No. It's already done. It appears they set up the hat to display this now. 
for whatever reason, the perpetrator wants us to see this. I'm not sure if you know how tense things are getting in here, but you've got everyone on edge. I'd like to hear more. In that case. Hmm? Asa? No genocidal weapons have unified us just yet, I suppose. Hey, where are the guards? Who let them be at the guards? You mean like the guy who gave me this jacket? Give the guy a day off. Yeah, so anyways, first I like it. Perhaps you took a wrong turn. The exit's behind you. I'll give Oscar a hand. What is this? World peace. Ready in just five minutes. That's some Joker shit.
Now what? An unregistered weapon of mass destruction has been activated. A weapon of mass destruction? Y yes, sir. We're getting signal from a level 5 subbase. It's defeated by the... This is impossible. It's cleared all protocols simultaneously. We're getting external interference. It can't be. Is this the work of that hacker? What's the target? The United States? Cut the main power. We can't shut it down or restart it. We're completely shut out. This is madness. Do something about it. This is about to start another new war. Prepare the auxiliary power source. We'll be faster than this anyway. What do you plan to do? Take care of this myself. Why is that kid waving at the missiles? Outshot has been launched, and without the president's authorization, have we been hacked? But we just changed the game on code 30 minutes ago. for the weapons in the castle. Every other weapon in Illyria has been launched. Alert! The United States has launched weapons against Illyria! The ultimate magic-based anti-gear weapon, Albatross. You guys dream that one up, right? I just fired them all. No way. You're insane! Do you realize what you've done? What is this? If you press that button, the missiles will self-destruct. Press it or don't. Not up to you. But if nothing happens in the next five minutes, we'll be starting over from the Stone Age. Show off your powers? Yep. I'm not after your fancy watches and things. So whatever could I want? He's a magic wielder. With skills far beyond our class. There's no way he is. All our trust missiles have self-destructed. None of this makes any sense. This is a deep one order. Enter the White House and confirm the safety of the President. Ow, damn it! What are you doing? I have only one request. The book. Book? Yeah. The one Oscar's got. Only problem is, little rascals hide behind it or I can't open it. And the only one who can open it is me. And you expect me to just quietly obey? Can you make me introduce myself? I'll do it. I'll do it to just stop. I'll take you to the gear maker. Mr. President!
There's a freelancer who takes pride in his work. Good. And you're finally getting interested. Just in time, I can't thank you enough. Save it for once we're outside. Where's the exit? What? I can't leave the other rubber is behind. You can't afford not to. It's all over if he gets his hands on you. But... is supposed to be safe. Shit. I don't care where we go. We just need to move. Turner, we're still unable to make contact with the White House. Send me an echo team. Continue calling and send reinforcements. If there was even an inkling of the president uh, being potentially harmed, every freaking army would just rain holy hell on this location. The army is investigating under the presumption that the launch was some sort of accident. However, the possibility remains that this was some sort of demonstration against G4. Security around the White House has... You guys sell those uniforms for gift shop or something? Where the hell are your guards? <sighs> I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. Chaos has the power to manipulate people's appearances and minds alike. He's brainwashed our entire security staff. There's no way I can leave everyone behind. We need to let people know what's going on in here and call for backup. I'm not mad until that's done. Trust me, if you were possible, they'd be your own. I can try to contact the car, then I'll make calls to that. It's likely that all transmissions are being jammed. Ugh. What about a hotbot that doesn't use magic? There's a country that continues to use forbidden machines. Sound on? How can you contact them? This building is an antique, you see. It's in the air command post. You're a stubborn bastard, you know that? It's how I won the election, actually. Oh. Uh -huh. That was close. There's a there. The exact aim is in the line of sight. Olympus has fallen. It seems they're unaware of the situation. Make contact. But use caution. Understood. We'll be making contact. Shouldn't you be pursuing the president? Boy, you can talk. Yes, I believe I just did. Wow, you didn't even hold a conversation. You seem quite comfortable for a man in a stranger's home. I take it this is all going well? <laughs> Not quite. 
The perfect plan never beats an improvised one. That's how I work. Clearly. Only a plan so brazen would never work. Normally. On that note, that knight from the Chinese Federation will die if you leave him be. We got terrorists in the White House and just fired every WMD in the world, and yet no one's come to save you. Are these normal occurrences to you? <sighs> Make up already. We left normal behind a long time ago. with a mask. We issued an emergency order. I have to... Over fire! What the hell? We seem to be witnessing a firefight on the perimeter of the White House. There's chaos down there. There is no more official word about what's going on. No way looks related to the weapons of mass destruction. Okay, let's keep it going. What's going on out there? A D1 order must have been issued some time ago. From the sound of things, I would imagine Chaos has backup troops outside as well. Something's going down outside. So, that gun wants to be the Swiss cheese. Don't move a muscle. How did you know? Hmm? How did you know that machine wouldn't come our way? My gun. Your gun's gonna be all of this bending on the module next time. Shouldn't those things be facial recognizing the president so it won't attack? You told me I couldn't save the world. What did you mean? <sighs> you don't even know what the world is yet. But I could still stop Eno. Then why did you come with me? I... don't know. As I am now, I can't really do anything. Yeah. You're human. A regular human. Which is why you don't always act logically.
quite some time ago. So long went into the castle's food storage area. Broken, to be more precise. Since I found the door in shambles. In any case, I came running when I heard the noise. He calls it a refrigerator. But as with all of the castle's facilities, it's spacious to the point of absurdity. Even finding someone there is no simple task. In time, I found soul in front of a wall of 5,000 liters of liquor. 84 varieties, all lined up and organized. Now, I can't judge the cost of alcohol by sight alone. But I did recognize the bottle he held in his hands. It was the same kind of cheap liquor you can find in nearly any restaurant. I told him he could have at least chosen something worth the cost of repairs to the door. How do you think he responded? There's hundreds of better drinks out there, but I always end up choosing this one. Choosing? That's right. He chose it not for its quality, but because it fits his tastes. You'll understand that, eventually. And a day will come when you find the contradiction beautiful. People have their necessary frivolities. Necessary frivolities. That's a $100 word. So I wasn't just hearing things. We're gonna be fine. What do we do? Stay completely still. Oh, like this logical. What the? Sure it is. Killed that Secret Service agent. Oh, military guy. Sir, no, sir. So, frankly, there's no telling who I'd be calling. What? Whoa, look at that nose. Grace to call. Yes, sir. Follow your nose, whatever it goes. Did you get that? I don't know. I just can't find you, Mark. 
screen for letters of national security. If you were dead to keep it busy as some sort of childish prank, we reserve the right to take all necessary defensive measures. Within five seconds, we will have your location traced. Within 15 minutes, the tactical nuke should arrive. If you feel any responsibility whatsoever for the poor souls within three kilometers of you, then don't ever call this number again. What? Our door. They are gonna go out of us. Huh? Well, you didn't interrupt him and say, like, hey, this is the president? Uh, yes, sir. But I. The call came from the White House. There's currently so much gunfire around the White House that it could safely be called a war zone, with no information regarding the dignitaries of each country inside. Many are concerned for their safety. <sighs> I just contacted Jeff via the emergency hotline. To be sure I can call the major organizations from each country. The president? He's on hand! My apologies, sir. Glad to hear you're alright. For now, yes, but we don't have much time. I'm gonna tell you all I know, so listen carefully. The White House has been taken over by terrorists. I managed to get away, but the others are being held captive in the conference room. Someone did you too. If you can, please, send back your right away. Do you know who's responsible? Only his name. He calls himself Happy Chaos. Happy? He's got to rise this time. And to get it, he needs me to give him access to the PEOC. I'm not sure something about him. I can't say. They're everywhere and heavily armed. That doesn't make sense. How would they get past security? I don't want to admit it, but most likely. The security officers were brainwashed. They can tell. The good team and I saw it with our own eyes. I'm sure. Do you understand what this means? In this complex alone, we had over 300 station officers. It's not safe to stay here. The moment this falls down, we're going to try to escape. But we will need that immediately. Pull your horses. It's just as dangerous outside as in. Mr. President, I believe it would be wise for you to retreat to the PEOT until backup arrives. Not a chance. You can't let Happy Chaos gain access to the PEOC. You don't have to worry about me. I'm a soul bad guy. PEOC! PEOC! Last week, that should be your greatest and safest route out of there. That's where I'll pick you up. See you then. Sign off now. Sending the reinforcements. Send everyone. How many? Everyone! So, what do you plan to do after this? Hmm? Will you be reading that book in your jail cell? I can't say I've ever heard of a case in which a single criminal successfully overthrew a government. Nor has the White House ever been taken over. There's a first time for everything. I just find it a tad curious. You could have made your demands after launching missiles. Why didn't you? Do you have a name, O oh King of Illyria? Daryl. All right, Daryl. Daryl. I'll dodge a question. I don't want to just make history. I want to make history fun. I want to write a script for reality and enjoy some authentic drama. Haven't you had your fun already, then? Look at the state you have us in. Ah, oh, don't get me wrong. I take no joy in seeing people suffer. I want to see them struggle. Semantics. Not at all. A wax figure of the human being. At a glance, it's hard to tell the difference. But the two are entirely different now. I say my goal was to create the strongest shield ever. How would I go about doing that? By creating the strongest sword. A sword justifies the existence of a shield. Humanity has always exhausted every possibility. That's the exact sort of drama I want to see. What was the motive behind your initial goal, then? 
Without the sword, the shield would be unnecessary. The motive? Sorry, to me the very idea of motive is nonsense. Is I'm a wax figure, you see. This place seems safe enough. First, I'll take out the guide by the side entrance. I'm sure someone will notice the noise, but I'll deal with it. What about this dragon? You make for the exit as fast as you can. Can we pull it off? Brown bears don't give birth to pandas. If you believe in that, you can believe in me. Then what will you do? I got unfinished business with Oscar. I see. Thank you. You've been an immense help. I'm not a handshake kind of guy. This world is brimming with potential. So long as humans put in the effort, they can realize true greatness. Make it a reality. The miracles of non-fiction surpass even the most masterful works fiction writers can dream of. However, if some lady of the lake grows up out of the water and offered you any book in the world, no one would ask for a history book. And that's because reality isn't very fun. Can you truly say that a reality you're scripting is non-fiction? It's a robbery happening on the other side of the world right now, real to you. We all write the script of our own lives. Our reality is what's written on our own page, nothing more. The important thing... ...is whether or not we can experience it for ourselves. I'm going to write the history books of the future, and a hundred years from now, Kids will be falling asleep in class anymore. Huh? The sensors have picked up a heat source within the White House. A heat source? Don't tell me. They turn the White House into a freaking shield hair shield helicarrier? Starting light. You got any more house rules I should know about? 
I want them the same thing. The White House has completely left our line of sight. What about me? I checked, but they seem to be using stealth magic. So we have to rely on our own eyes. He got there. So he got back there pretty fast. Is this a nightmare? How could he have known of Chernanog? More than that, how is he able to control it? Chaos has to be. Now? No. no. This is a magic signal intrusion. Only one person can pull this off. Right, Oscar? True. Are you alright? I wish. They got me locked down. I'm here with Burn. Good to hear. You rescued him, I presume. Keep him safe at all costs. If the enemy truly is after the tome, we cannot afford to let him have it. There's something I gotta know. Just about anybody read the tome? They cannot. Only me. And chaos. Just what are you? You really want to know? That man, chaos. He's my teacher. This is his first and strongest magic. The original. The man who introduced the world to magic? But the gear maker's teacher, the author of the Tome of Origin, the father of magic, and the savior who opened our minds and spirit in mankind's revival when the world lost its science. Only one of you is telling the truth. Is it you or these documents? Neither. Back when I was the person you and Oscar knew, this, and this, weren't broken yet. Hmm. You sure that guy's your teacher? His appearance and demeanor have changed considerably, but his aptitude for magic is undeniable. Uh, great. So we're headed for the worst case scenario. Headed for? Is that some kind of joke? How do things get any worse than they already are? Chaos's goal is to make Eno complete. Eno? You thinking what I'm thinking? Chaos already has Eno's other half. There's no way. My teacher would never do such a thing. Fine. Then what do you think his next step is? <clears throat> Alright. I'll give it some thought. Meanwhile, please try to stay safe. This wouldn't be a bad place to fight. We don't have an escape route either. We might end up moving, depending on how things shake out. I'll pray for your safety. But how much worse can this get? Hey. 
Yeah, I can see what looks like an aircraft ahead. Are we on the right route? Let me confirm. This is TH-10 Angry, and I have an unidentified aircraft. Requesting information, over. Mm, that's not right. There's no flight plan that you can overlap me with TH-10 Angry. We're not showing anything on radar either, over. This is the captain speaking. Respectfully, that's impossible. I can see it with my own two eyes. It's a massive aircraft. At this rate, we're at risk of impact. Requesting evasive assistance, over. That's odd. Is there any response from the TCAS or ADS? Teach that it could be the only aircraft to oh, shit! It's the White House! The aircraft ahead of us is the White House! Come again? Taking evasive maneuvers! Is that Air Force One? The captain's on the bank. The BWAB will be issued orders in cooperation with Zen. Change your communication channel to 7.5 to confirm. Confirm. Understood. Still, what's the administration here? I get it. Right now, those ex assassins know more about the White House situation than we do. Take your plans for later. This is Millie Arrange, director of the PWAB. Do any of you have a visual on the White House? Thank you, Duncan. If that craft is on, make sure it maintains a distance of 500 meters. The White House is a fortress. It's equipped with a system that detects aircraft transponders and automatically intercepts. Stand by outside the effective range and avoid contact until further orders. Now that we've located it, we face a new issue. We're unable to act until we make contact with the inside where it runs out of fuel and crashes. We need an aircraft that the White House cannot see. I believe we could be of service on that front. No, it's not a suitable craft for hostages. And I can't guarantee it will make it in time. It's better than sending your trailing our thoughts. Except, right away. We'll work on what we can from our end. Plot the White House's route based on this current vector from Washington, D.C. Chief of Staff Eric Bartholomew has given us access to their confidential files. With international cooperation, we will now proceed with our analysis of the black box. Hopefully, we'll find a clue. Here's hoping. What's the data report? Initial reports say 48 police and soldier casualties. But that doesn't account for the numerous civilians caught up in all this. <sighs> Was this a political group? Some single lady log? Hillary tried to warn us. I downplayed the danger because Nino was in custody. These deaths are my responsibility. I don't know who they are, but the enemy is in there. This is no time to beat yourself up. We worked together for a long time. I know you could do this on your own. <laughs> Only if I you for this may be twice as efficient. Listen, if working together for a long time builds trust. There's no one you should trust more than yourself. Okay. That's it for tonight. So, the father of magic. What a twist. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, probably just gonna be streaming some um, multiplayer games. But uh, yeah, see y'all soon. Take care. It's been fun. Be seeing ya.